Losing everything in a house fire is devastating, leaving the victims in a state of shock. That's why American Red Cross volunteers step in to help. You need to begin to be empowered again because you've lost everything. And that comfort zone, and in, for many of them, it's that simple hug. It's that shoulder to cry on. Nancy Conley is the executive director for the Coastal Chapter of the American Red Cross. She says the number of fires this fiscal year is up 23% over last year. In the last five months, since July 1st, the Red Cross has responded here in the Coastal Chapter to 84 families who have lost their homes to fires. That's 254 local residents whose lives were changed forever due to a home fire. In that same time frame, the PD's Red Cross chapter has responded to 102 fires, assisting 318 people. And that assistance takes many forms, in addition to the basics like food and clothing. If they need eyeglasses, for example, prescriptions, work with them in talking to their employers, talking to the schools and mental health services. Are they emotionally unstable? Is there some, some additional need that they have? Um, are they crying more than they, they maybe they should be? Those services are even more important for fire victims this time of year. This time of year in particular, we try and keep an eye on our, our families because we're coming up on the holidays and so they'll reach for things maybe that, that aren't there anymore because they've lost in the fire. 